up everybody? This week I picked up three pieces of really cool equipment. I got ten pairs of 3D anaglyph glasses, red and blue, old school movie glasses, and then I also got um, a really big green screen 4x4 meters. I don't really need 4x4 meters, but it's nice to have. And last but not least, I got a 10 to 20 millimeter lens made by Sigma, f3.5, really good for ultra wide shots. Let's go through all of these in reverse order. First off, the 10 to 20 millimeter lens. The millimeter itself refer refers to the focal length of the camera, but basically in simple terms, the lower your number, the wider you're going to see. You have to remember that lenses are in fact circular, so yeah, the lower you go, the more likely your corners are going to get distorted, either by natural vignetting or by like chromatic aberration, which is when, for example, with these uh, red and blue 3D glasses, chromatic aberration is when your red and your blue get like disjointed from each other, and you have that really cool zoom. So yeah, right now I'm filming on the Nikon kit lens, going as low as it goes, 18 millimeters. Yeah, let's switch out for the Sigma 10 to 20 millimeters and do that test. So yeah, we're using the 10 to 20 millimeter lens, and I know what you're thinking, Chien. It literally looks exactly the same. Yeah, but that's because we're on 20 millimeters. This is how wide things go, and it's. F I'm sorry, I was about to swear. But I think it's fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> Wow, dude, that's so weird. This is so weird. I can't, I can't believe I own this. I can't believe I own this. Compared to the 18 millimeter lens, you can notice that I can fit my entire arms and a little more in the entire bits of the screen. And like that distortion I talked about earlier, when I point the camera up and down, there's some slight, there's some slight weirdness to it. But that's the, that's the magic of it, dude. I'm like. Alright, so I'm doing some research on what f-stop actually is. I'm a film student, but sometimes I forget what f-stop is. Basically, um, my understanding is that f-stop is a measure of aperture. Aperture is how wide your camera sensor opens and how much light it can take in. Basically, the lower your f-stop is, the bigger your aperture is, which means that your camera lets in more light. Which means that... <laughs> Alright, cool. Now that they're done playing with the lenses, let's go get that second thing. So yeah, I ordered a green screen from Amazon. Like I said, it's 4x4 four four meters, which is which is really huge. Yeah, to be honest, I personally don't think I'm going to ever need 4x4 four four meters, but it's nice to have, and it kind of reminds me of my old room, where I made like um, a green screen out of sticky notes. Literally, I put a bunch of sticky notes on my wall, and I thought it would work as a green screen, and guess what? It did, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, the last thing I got were 10 pairs of 3D anaglyph glasses. You can see them all in here. They're all in that little bag, and yeah, um, basically, I'm directing a short film soon called The Nemesis Frames, and it it's about relationship issues and consumerism, and how consumerism is inescapable, and it's changing modern relationships. If you're in the Reading area, come check us out week 7, we're gonna be shooting in, I mean, we're gonna be screening in Mangala Studios. Yeah, it'd be fun. Alright, sick. That's all this YouTube video was. Oh wait, I forgot to introduce you. I got two new plants. Um, I haven't named them because naming plants is kind of weird, but I got two new plants. Um, yeah.